All right. Uh, Dalton's Law. I put this all under Dalton's Law. Yep. Is that a question? I don't think it's yeah. Oh, it didn't be? It did. It did. There's a fight. Okay, I'll assume it did. And if it didn't, <laughs> oh well. All right, Dom's Law. So the mole fraction, say, of A, of gas A, is the moles of A over the total moles, which is the volume of A over the total volume, B total, which is the uh, partial pressure of A over the total pressure. Okay? And then also in Dalton's Law, you'll use PV equals nRT. And then you'll also say that the total pressure equals the sum of the individual pressures, so PA plus PB plus all other gases. Same for the total moles is NA plus NB plus all the rest. And the V total equals the sum of the volumes. Okay, so those are the formulas you're going to use. The problem is you can use them in any order, and there's multiple ways that you could use them and still get the same answer. My style uh, that I've noticed, I will usually convert everything to moles first. So my solving styles, uh, and you don't have to do this because there, there is other ways, but I convert to moles first, and then if you convert to moles first, you'll have this part of the equation right there. Na over n total, the moles of A over the total moles. And then, where do you get total pressure? There's usually two ways to get total pressure. If you don't know, write this down. One is, if it's in atmosphere, the total pressure is the atmospheric pressure. Okay? Which is what? One atmosphere, 760 millimeters mercury, whatever unit you're using. The other way to get that is the ideal gas law right here. So if you have the total volume and the total moles, which you usually, after you find the moles, you got the total moles. After you, and they usually give you the total volume, and you're given the temperature, so you can find the total pressure. So I usually get this, that's where I get that one. Or it's given as like, it's saying atmospheric pressure is the total pressure. Okay, so what happens, not always, but sometimes, say you have gas A and B, and these are given, the mass is given, and it asks you something about the total pressure, well you go to moles, and then, so you have moles of A and you have moles of B, you add moles of A and moles of B to get total moles, you get the total pressure by saying N total, times R times T over V total. There's the total pressure usually. And then you can use, uh, I guess I'll put it up here. And then you can use the, the one side of the equation, NA over N total equals PA over P total. If you use that side of the equation, uh, from the equation I gave you earlier, the very top Dalton's law, then uh, you can find the partial pressure. They can give it to you in other ways. So, for example, they give you the partial pressures and you work backwards. That's very common, too. So, there's a lot of ways to set up these problems, and that's why they're a little tough. I would highly recommend that you just do about five or plus examples of this so you can see different ways that the text and your instructor words these problems.